Welcome back, Achievers, to your Easy Achievers Game Podcast for the week of April 1st. It feels goodbye. Stop recording. No. <laughs> April Fool's. No, April Fool's here. No, it doesn't exist here. No, 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 it doesn't. Uh, that is actually one hilarious thing of doing this show. Mm-hmm. It's just April 1st, you just, you just don't pay attention to anything. You just you can't even be on the internet because everyone's trying. Oh yeah, for way sure. Way too hard. So <laughs> I saw someone this morning try to start. They started early. They were like, "Metal mm-hmm. Gear has a 35th anniversary website up," and it's like, "Stop bro, it, bro! Is it your first day on the internet? Uh, where, who's yeah. falling for this? Who?" Like I literally told, I literally told my wife something about, uh, that we we're about to talk about on the show, and she was like, "Are you sure that's not part of April Fools?" I was like, "They did it a day before. I don't think they would." care or uh, i don't know you have I, to tell me which one that is because i'm actually the e3, the e3 thing oh, 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 she, th- oh she thought it was fake she thought oh, it was fake no and i was I like that. no it's not well yeah f- well people from and your wife's not really on the outside what i mean but no, no, like from sure. people yeah. on the outside looking in yeah e3 sounds like this imaginable beast that would never die uh, yeah speaking of which this is the easy Chivers game podcast uh this is elijah talking uh sitting across from me digitally of course as always is alex <laughs> thank you so much for joining Hello. me today alex no, I, I want you to call me the elden lord from now on uh the, the <clears throat> hey this is elijah i'm hosting today and of course as always sitting across from me digitally is of course the elden lord alex Ye tarnished <laughs> <laughs> rise Oh my God! It's it's plagued your mind in a good way, Dude. but but like you have you have been Elden Ringed, which is I literally just got the last achievement, last ending yesterday. For so you my have thousand of the game. Yes. Okay, so you've gotten you've you've done your hundred oh, percent. You've done you know, yes. That, that's kind of yeah. our hundred percent. Yeah. Yep. Now There's that you uh, so much. <laughs> are you done? What is that? What what is for now? What, yes. For okay, now, so yes. Yeah, we're, I'll probably we're come back. A break. Like, we're taking a break. yeah, I'll probably come back for, like days. Like, if you're gonna jump back on and you're like, hey, uh, I hey, drop this for me so I could drop your weapon or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then other than that, I mean, yeah, I'm pretty done. We are. Uh, we started a new game last night. We did. We did. Yeah. But before we get into that, this is the Easy Chairs Game Podcast. You can watch us every single Friday, where we bring you the news of the week. We, of course on a podcast service of your choice, or over here on YouTube. If you're listening on YouTube, remember, support us. Hit the like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend. Remember, hit the subscription. You also hit the notification bell. That basically tells you when we upload. Now, I wish I, wish I had a bell. I could just go... We can invest in the bell, especially okay. if you go over to patreon.com slash YouTubers, where you can support us financially. Give us a dollar. That should be enough to buy a bell, I think. I don't know. How much are bells? Uh, give us... Someone, someone give us $3, and we'll buy the bell... What? Okay, Alex has Mickey Mouse ears now. I don't. I think he's doing a bit now. I don't know. Uh, okay. Maybe this has some sort of correlation with the bell. No, from earlier. I just no? saw it. I okay. wanted to wear it. Okay. All right. Well, it suits you well because you are again sporting the Steve Jobs attire. You have the kind of all black. <laughs> you're blending in with your chair. You have the Mickey Mouse ears on now. It looks great. You look great. I just need the turtleneck, man. You need the turtleneck. One day, Halloween. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, they'll, they'll be your outfit. Steve, your Steve Jobs. <laughs> and you just got to be a raging asshole to everyone, and everyone will know who you are. Uh, thank you so much for uh, stopping by today. Remember, every Friday. Anyways, Alex, mm. we have the rapid fire to get to. But before we do that, I start the episode every week the same way, which is with mm. one singular question that I ask you. Alex, what have you been playing? Hmm. As I've just said, I finished Elden Ring. Yeah. I'm done with that. Yep. Uh, we started playing a game called Tiny Tina's Wonderland. We did. We did. This is a Borderlands spinoff of DLC that was made. It was called Assault on Dragon Keep. It was really good. Mm-hmm. Really, I, I literally came into this game very with low expectations. Yes, like I yes. didn't, I, I think didn't we all think did. I was gonna care for this game. I think we all did though. But we didn't really see too much of this game. Yeah. Uh, we saw like little snippets here and there. It wasn't really super advertised. Uh, maybe I'm missing yeah. where it was advertised, but I didn't see it anywhere. Mm. And then the game kind of yeah. just came out. And so far, Alex, we're early in the game. We're I don't know, uh, we're level five, I think. That sounds right. Yeah, we're like yeah, we're about like an hour, an hour and a half in, maybe. So far, yeah, I Very think so. Very fun. Yeah, I'm enjoying myself. I like 
The humor, as always, humor is really good. Yep. I like the yep. D and D. It is. Yep. It is. It is very D and D. I I like that they are. Oh, dude, same. It doesn't yeah. feel tacked on. It. They are, uh, keeping to the D and D mold. Uh, yeah. My favorite parts are, are are when we come back from playing the game, and it's and it's we're back to the tabletop. And like yeah, the little Tina's saying thing, yeah. or showing something or showing you the yeah. next boss and then and like she puts it on there. That's really fun. The overworld mm. is hilarious. You kept uh <laughs> you kept lamenting about how uh, it's very funny that uh basically this overworld has uh, our characters but our heads are really big and our world is small, so we're just giant heads walking around. It's very funny. Like Yeah. And we're mm-hmm. just running around uh like little bobble heads. Yeah, it looks like there's collectibles that you could do. Uh there's tall grass like in Pokemon <laughs> and that could have random encounters. You can also punch the people to make the random encounter go away, I guess. That was kind of funny. Mm. Uh, but I, so far we're early so I can't really speak too much of it, but so far gameplay's solid. I am the Yeah. Oh no. Uh Wraithborn? no. Wrathborn? Uh, Ra- so, some uh, Graveborn. Oh, Graveborn. I am Graveborn. Gra- Graveborn. You Alex are the Stabomancer yes and so far i'm enjoying it again early so we haven't had too many i do like my ability i i specialize in sacrificing my health to do spells Mm -hmm. so my big action skill is like i hit the ground and a giant wave of red black magic shoots out from me and hits everyone like really it's really shit out of me yeah yeah i did (laughs) i did it without any (laughs) one and i just blew up next to you it's really funny alex your what is yours i don't know my uh, my special is like it looks like I throw like this like ghost bl- like a uh, two sided blade and it just spins or I throw it at an area That's right. and, and in huge. that area it just yeah and it just spins it's, and it's it, not like a sword area. that you ha- you hold like this thing no, is no, no. like t- taller than like two people yeah it's like, like a magic it's huge. like a magic uh, a magic dagger looking thing it just spins around in circles and one thing I and did it not does know AOE damage one thing I did not know is you get a spell so each character can hold a spell and I think the mage character can hold two. And what you do is um, you have like a little wand and you just shoot out a spell. It's really, it's, it's kind of fun. Like you're shooting and mm-hmm. then out of nowhere, like you just boink. Reminds me of very Bioshock. You have the, the plasma in your left hand, your weapon in your right hand. It kind of feels that way where your weapon's in your right hand. You can yeah. at any point shoot your spell off in the left hand. It's very nice. I like, yeah. I like it. I, I very much enjoy it. Again, early in the game, we'll have much more impressions next week. Maybe yeah. we'll even do a show about it if it's big enough, but. That's the mm-hmm. point. I'm very excited. Alex, anything else you've been playing? Um, I tried out the upgrade version of Apex. I think it's just as a series. I think it, they upscaled maybe the resolution because it looks better. And I haven't been on it in a while, but it looks better. It's still playing 60 frames. Okay. I mean, yeah. I like the control mode is actually pretty cool. I forgot about that. So this is like a 12v12 ma- mode, right? Or something? And I you have to capture so. the flag? Yeah, it's like capture. The, it's like capture, capture the, zone. the zone. Sorry, not yeah. flag. But so, so when you're doing that, like it is. What is it? What does it feel like? Is it like Battlefield? Is it like Apex? Like so is it just was, Apex but with teammates? I was gonna say, imagine the just you know you're running around like the uh, arena mode in Apex. Okay. But the capture the zone thing feels a lot like Battlefield, like you said. Like like you're okay. running in there, you're running in there. If, are you, these, if you die, you respawn. You are these exclusive where, maps, to. or are these pre-existing maps that the game already had? So they're exclusive maps. Like there's smaller maps within the world that we've been on. So like okay, uh, so the, it's, so it's yeah, we've been it's just, here before. It's just yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. It's just an like area cut up. Like um, the one I was on was the I forget I always forget the name, but it looks like the PS5. Like that building? Yeah, I yeah. I have no idea what it's called, but I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> yeah, that it's that building, and it's just one one player. The one team starts on one side, one starts on the other, and there's like a, a couple objectives. You go there, or you go to the top of where the waterfall is. That's like I think point C or point B. I can't remember. It's that area. Okay, so it's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, I have not been playing too uh, too much. I've I've been yeah pretty busy. I've been playing Elden Ring. I still going through Horizon. Still mm-hmm. almost done with the Platinum. Almost. So close i'm about to hit level 50 i'm level 45 i think um which is weird because uh it does feel like the leveling is a little weird in the game because i i'm level 50 and i can go beat the game but everything like all my quests that i have are like level like 19 and stuff so i do feel a little op but maybe i should up the difficulty or something which i'm not going to i don't want to but i i do i just want to bring up that it does feel weird that the leveling is like super skewed but 
I guess it makes sense because like you don't want to expect everyone to do everything, which is basically what I'm doing. Like I'm doing a lot of stuff. Like I, I I'm trying to do all the hunting grounds, which I'm still missing one, which is annoying. I don't know where it is. Um, I am trying to finish. I did. Mo I, I tried. I need to finish the a, arena. There was a hidden hunting ground that I could not find, and I think it was either towards west, like up to the top of the map, or it was like down below. There was a hidden okay. one somewhere towards west. Okay, I have so not got a single there. one at the west, so I have to. Yeah, so try to looking look. there. Yeah, right, I'll look there. Um, and I do know that the mission I'm about to do is huge. Like it's a, it's, it's huge for story reasons. I don't know yeah. what it is, but I don't want to do it yet. I want to wait. So I'm going to try to do everything. So when I go to finish the main quest, I, I proc the platinum when I beat the game. That's what I want. Yep. So that is yep. why it's taking me so much longer to do it. I will update you when i finish the game but that's really that's really it we played tiny teams we already talked about that and i finished elden ring mm. last week and i already talked about mm. that so i don't really have anything else to update with uh, the youtubers yep. on alex what's up rapid fire rapid fire let's start with the first one xbox has backtracked this isn't the only time you're going to hear backtrack in xbox in the same sentence xbox has backtracked the removal of the direct share function to twitter this was going to be removed in an upcoming um build in the build forward i already forget what's called the preview builds on xbox that you can sign up for if you want to beta test things you could sign up for that and get early builds one of the early builds was removing the function people did not like that so they very much quickly said never mind we'll put it back in <laughs> so we will not do that anymore uh so they are keeping the direct share function so if that was an issue do not worry Next one, this is a random one that we saw Microsoft filed a trademark for an esports team called Start.gg. Very strange. So they did file a trademark. Curious if we'll ever see something about this. You know, trademarks are filed all the time to keep legal standings. So maybe this was just there that they have an idea for and they just wanted to snag it. Or maybe one day we'll see Start.gg, which is a terrible name. Maybe we'll see it in esports one day. But yeah. that's, that was literally it. There was nothing else. We don't even know if it's going to be utilized in any way legally. This is another backtrack. Minecraft preview accidentally added ray tracing in an Xbox build. This is a direct tweet in recognition of that accidental include. So this is from the Minecraft Twitter. Uh, quote, the previous Minecraft preview build available to Xbox insiders inadvertently included prototype code for ray tracing support on Xbox consoles. This early mm -hmm. prototype code has been removed from preview and doesn't signal near future plans to bring ray tracing support to consoles. Alex, I thought this was pretty interesting. Not only that it accidentally was left in the preview code, but they very specifically said at the end, this does not signal near future plans to build ray tracing support to consoles. Very strange. So the whole point of them showing, it's look, like, look, Minecraft has ray tracing. Look at this, how it looks. But you can only do it on PC. But only on PC. Like, really? Very like, strange. What? I almost don't believe it because there's just no way they have code available and they have no plans to ever bring it. There's just no yeah. way. The, it's, so I don't think they're being 100% honest, which of course, you know, our company yeah. is ever. It's like, so, I mean, obviously somebody had to make that code to put in there, even though if it was accidentally. Like, so now you're saying that that's never going to come. So you're saying that all that work, wh whoever did that is no, for nothing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's pretty strange. Yeah. Maybe it was incorrectly put there i don't know they yeah. did not detail why i would love to i i don't know coding maybe if someone if some achiever out there does let us know if that's a thing can you just accidentally leave something that sounds pretty preposterous maybe and this is a big maybe maybe this is for the next xbox so you know how they had the xbox series x oh, jesus mm -hmm. no sorry they had the xbox one x i i did the thing they had the Xbox One X was a mid-gen upgrade. We already know through um, a gentleman named Moore's Law is Dead that both PS5 and Xbox already have plans to bring out a new system in 2023, 2024 time frame. So mm. that maybe is in preparation of that. Maybe that's going to be one of their showcase things that, hey, the new Xbox can like actually do ray tracing where we we haven't really seen it utilized too much because it's either you pick ray tracing or you pick high frame rate and most people are going to pick high frame rate because yeah you know ray tracing is pretty but you know if it looks crappy when you're looking around it doesn't matter uh, that's all i have alex anything else no i just think it's it's, very it's just weird it's just yeah. very strange it's like very why strange. why yeah 
Like, is ray tracing really a big deal, like, to get rid of? Like, like Yeah, I don't know. And is Minecraft the one game that you can't do it on? I don't know. Yeah, it's... like, really? Like, I feel like that's probably one of the easiest because it's just so, there's, there, you're not working with a lot. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, okay, I'm not a developer, so I, I can't say that, but, like, I mean, it doesn't look like it. Right. I I agree with what you're saying. Like, it's not like there's trillions of buildings, but maybe, it ha- maybe there's some weird thing with the way the build will work on a system and it's limited in some way. I don't know. Yeah. Japan-based Capcom Studios are pretty happy, I assume. They're receiving a 30% base pay raise on April 1st, which is hilarious because it could have been April Fool's joke, but it wasn't. There will also be bonus for company performance. Now, the reason I brought this up, now this is Japan-based, so it's not going to be very indicative of maybe what's happening in North America or Europe. But a 30% base pay raise shows that they are open to working with their uh, employees. Uh, that's a huge pay raise, and I think we're going to see that yeah. more and more uh, because there is a talent drought currently in the industry. They, that's why you see a lot of people leaving, going, um, because they want to be paid more. Some people are getting paid astronomically high numbers to not only stay, but also steal other employees from other places. So I think this is not the start of it because we already saw that with the Bungie deal. If you remember mm-hmm. the Bungie deal when PlayStation bought Bungie. 200 million i believe or something like that was used just for retainment bonuses just to make sure people stayed they they made sure to cut that deal very specifically to make sure no one leaves which is common in acquisitions but that just shows you that they are making sure people are not leaving to uh, other places or retiring of course. it's back alex the box is back this is a direct tweet from blue boxes game studios this is, for some reason, our highest uh, performing video is when we talked about this. And I'm about to talk about this really weird, strange message that they gave out. Uh, and I'll just read it. This is a picture that they tweeted out. So this is all on um, black and on white lettering, which is also weird. Why did you do this? Anyways. <laughs> Dear community, recently we have been bombarded with requests and questions regarding the development status for Abandoned. <laughs> In regards to the latest rumors regarding Abandoned being cancelled, our response to this is that these rumors are false. We are working on the reveal via the real-time experience app. They have an app. Let's all remember that. And online channels along with the prologue of the game. These were initially planned for Q1 2022, but unfortunately, we aren't ready yet, as we underestimated our development roadmap. Therefore, we have delayed the reveal... And the release for Abandoned Prologue. We will release Abandoned Prologue when it's stable, good, and ready. We are aware of your frustrations, and we are deeply, sincerely apologize for this. We will continue to work on the game, and we will notify you when we are ready. Our sincerest apologies, Blue Box Game Studios. Alex, we stopped talking about this, frankly, because everything we kept hearing was just more nonsense. But this was the first time I've seen something, and I was like, all right, well, technically it is being delayed, so I should bring it up. On this show, yeah, I don't think I have anything new, other, other uh, anything new to add, other than let's remember, this man that's making this video game has not been heard of by anyone in the industry. No one has worked with this man. No one even says they work at Blue Box Studios. No one has come out and said I worked with X person on Blue Box. No one has said anything about the studio before. We don't even know where it is. And we've never seen pictures of the inside of it. Alex, do you have mm. anything else to add to this? Whatever this is. You got that smile that just tells me chaos is what you had in your mind. You want chaos, which I respect it. I, it I just, think chaos is fun as well, especially with this. Lest, lest we forget, they tweeted a picture of a man with an eye patch on <laughs> that was clearly Metal Gear. Like, which I know it was not actually Metal Gear guy. It was the, a base Unreal Engine dude with an eye patch. I know, but still, you understand? The, the watch, it, watch, it, watch it look like Metal Gear, and they're like, no, but it's not Metal Gear. This is not Solid Snake. <laughs> this is Liquid it's Snake. Li- they already did that. They already did. They can't do Liquid <laughs> Snake. They'd have to do like plasma snake some sort of form of matter mm-hmm. anyways that seems to be it i i i, yeah, I don't know like what even to, i'm just gonna like, keep making fun of it, so yeah 
There's a rumor roundup. There isn't really a rumor roundup. Uh, Achievers, if you've been paying attention to the... What would you call that? I don't know. Influencer space on Twitter or something? I don't know what you call it. But a lot of people were hinting that PlayStation had a lot of news this week. Um, and I don't want it to sound like I'm picking on anyone individually, but... Uh, nice. Uh, <laughs> to bring up someone, for instance, uh, Greg Miller is a huge podcast man. He does a PlayStation podcast, and he tweeted out, I don't think he knew it would get this much traction, although I don't understand how he wouldn't, uh, that uh, he heard that there are three to four huge news for PlayStation this week. So he delayed his recording of a show. Uh, I think it's called PS... Not, I think. It's called PS I Love You. And that made a giant storm. Everyone started <laughs> speculating what it could be. Some people were saying they bought from software because PlayStation tweeted the week of a joke about how you can leave messages in Elden Ring. So people mm -hmm. were taking that tweet and saying, oh... They bought from, and they're going to announce that this week. That's what he's talking about. Send it. Like, people were, Alex, people were going crazy. They were saying crazy shit. Like, oh so, my God. So, everyone calm down. Nothing happened. This is, now the, this is now the end of the week. Yeah. Something could happen in the next few weeks. That's why I always hate, and that's kind of why I love Jeff Grubb a little bit. Because he's just open. He'll just say shit. He'll just talk. He'll just talk. He'll be like, yeah, I heard this and this. Yeah. I hate when people go, oh, yeah, I know this thing, but they don't say anything. And it's like, that's kind of lame. So just don't yeah. say anything. That, that, yeah. And then this won't happen. This annoying mix-up yep. won't happen. People won't go crazy. Don't go, yep. I know and something. Because no, it comes off. And then you look like. Mm. Yeah, and then you look a little silly, which, hey, I don't think Greg Miller gives a flying shit about what people think. And rightly oh, so. No. The man has earned, it, earned the respect of the industry. So he has yeah. no problem dealing with this i'm just saying because other people kind of piggyback on on this you could see kind of pretending like they might know something i yeah. don't know but that was very strange that i saw that everyone immediately went from zero to 100 with this saying crazy stuff like, like everyone calm down nothing happened let's relax let's keep expectations and clear sometimes yeah. and, and i believe he i believe he heard something Mm. I believe that he has heard something. There, he also stated that he not only heard something, but was told someone by a trusted source, and it might happen. Then he said he connected the dots on something else. I have no idea what he's talking about. But let's not read too much into this. No, but yeah. also, and also for people's benefit, Greg is very respected, so he should be very careful with how he tweets. Because when he mm. tweets something like that, people are going to take it very seriously. Oh, they're yeah. going to grab it and they're going to run. They're gonna run yeah, as if don't... something's on yeah. fire. <laughs> like, yeah, we only got one simple thing from PlayStation this week. Yes, we did, and we did, and they mentioned that, which I was like, cool. Oh, whatever. Yeah. First story. It's sad. Everyone, sit down. Ether has been officially canceled for 2022, both physically and digitally. We heard rumors early in the year, but this is now officially no April Fools. No April Fools in this show. Everyone, yeah. if you're sitting at home. You think, oh, this is the time achievers are gonna get us. What are they gonna say? That's an April. No, stop it. We don't I'm do that. I'm saying even from TSA, they like they. That's this what was my wife before it too. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was like. There's that. Yeah, it's It'd be real. a terrible April Fools too. It's like your April Fools was you weren't doing it. It's a bad. One. The ESA yeah. gave a quote. Quote: We will devote all of our energy and resources to delivering a revitalized physical and digital E3 experience next summer. Whether enjoyed from the show floor or your favorite devices, the 2023 showcase will bring the community, media, and industry back together in an all-new format and interactive experience. We look forward to presenting E3 to fans around the world live from Los Angeles in 2023. E3, the Electronic Entertainment Expo, has had some troubles with its identity in the recent years, having issues whether it's still a trade show, a public show, or something in between. Debuting in 1995 at the Los Angeles Convention Center and continuing through everywhere until 2020, Due to COVID, been since we did get a kind of half digital one last year. It was weird. Yeah, Alex. Hmm. Let's start with. Are you surprised? No, I know I'm definitely not surprised because uh, the economy has not changed. <laughs> yeah, and also, I'll be interested to see if they can make it next year because. 
I'll be real with you. Um, I think they could have definitely had an E3 this year, whether it be digitally or physically, especially digitally, because it's it far more cheaper. People, right? I'm, I'm sure they can have it, but the, the, the thing is, well, that and do they have the studios to come? Because True. like what we saw last year, PlayStation wasn't going to be there. What was it? EA Play wasn't going to be there. Yeah. Square wasn't going to be there. Yeah, that's true. They might so not like, have enough. And, they might like, not have that it enough. anymore. Yeah. That's a good point. That is, Nobody's like, coming back for it. So they're like, hey, what's the point of coming where we were just, we'll do our own thing? Yeah, no, I mean, hey, that, that's just, I, I agree. They, there, there could be a no, numerous issues with this, and, and it probably is. It probably ranges from people not coming. I mean, mm. they might not have the money. As, oh, far yeah, as, as far as I heard, they couldn't afford to miss a year. So when COVID hit, people, like with you know, with deep industry mm-hmm. ties, we're already saying this is gonna kill them because they they don't make enough money to be like, oh, we're good to stop a year. <laughs> like that was that wasn't a thing that can happen. No. So this might this eh, it might be the end, and that's gonna be very sad. I do hope they come back next year. I yep. do hope they have something. I hope they can kind of piece this together. I do um, I do want to bring something up that uh, it's very interesting to see. Um, Jeff Keighley tweeted just a smiley face about this, and I was like, "Interesting way of uh, uh, supporting uh, that." Of supporting this, uh, cool. Um, I look, I like Jeff Keighley. Um, I did not like the last Game Awards, but he makes good shows. Uh, yeah. uh, the last thing I want to hear is someone having less competition. Uh, so I don't want yeah. that to happen now. I, I that did kind of rub me the wrong way. I'm like, ah, you know, people are a lot of people are losing, you know, losing the job and stuff. Maybe not a appropriate way of responding to that, but yeah, it's neither here or there. I mean, he can do whatever he wants. I just thought it was strange, but yeah, uh, I will miss it. I do hope it comes back. Uh, I wanted I to mean, go once, so it does kill me oh, that for, as for soon, sure, yeah. as soon I was going to be able to go. Uh, mm-hmm. It immediately died. <laughs> so, so it's, it does kind of suck. It does kind of suck. Literally, the like this, yeah. it, it like it's almost as if when we started, Alex, we killed it. Like in some way, like in some way, we yep. we triggered the chain of events. We started COVID. There, I said it. I said it. I fucked the pangolin. Of, uh, uh, I, I fucked say, the pangolin. I said it. I was gonna say I'm not a part. Alex of that. just turns his camera off. And he's like, I'm not doing it. Anyways, not part of that. <laughs> anytime, yeah. Anytime I say something terrible, just ca- camera just goes off. And you just sit in silence. <laughs> you just come back and like, yep. are, are, are we are we moving on? We are. No, entien- no entiendo. <laughs> no espanol. Alex, we're moving on. Hmm. There's an all new PlayStation Plus. Thank God this wasn't leaked or heavily speculated on. Mm-hmm. Well, it has been finally revealed that this new PlayStation service is being shown, and it's being shown by PlayStation themselves this time. Here's an expert from the PlayStation blog. So this is technically the tier list I have already read to you, Achievers. I will read it one more time because there is no guarantee that you caught the last episode or, you know, you may have missed it. So I just, I will read it one more time for everyone. So starting at the first, PlayStation Plus Essential. A reminder, this is the exact same PlayStation Plus you have right now. Provides the same benefits, two monthly downloadable games, exclusive da- discounts, cloud storage for saved games, online multiplayer access. So this is now PlayStation Essential. Now, PlayStation Plus Extra. All your benefits from the Essential tier and adds catalogs of up to 400 of the most enjoyable PS4 and PS5 games, including blockbuster hits from our PlayStation Studios catalog and third-party partners. Games in the Extra tier are downloadable for play. Extra, extra, read all about it. PlayStation Plus Premium. This, of course... Has mm. all benefits from Essential and Extra. Adds up to 340 additional games, including PS3 games available via cloud streaming. A catalog of beloved classic games available in both streaming and download options from the original PlayStation, PS2, and PSP generations. Seems like something's missing from there. Offers cloud streaming access for original PlayStation, PS2, PSC, and PS4 games offered in extra and premium tiers in select markets. Where PlayStation Now is currently available, customers can stream games using PS4 and PS5 game consoles and PC. Time-limited game trials will also be offered in this tier, so customers can try select games, select games, before you buy. 
select games. There's no guarantee every game will have them. Just select. Titanfall is available at launch. A couple outstanding ones. Death Stranding, God of War, Marvel Spider-Man, Marvel Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Mortal Kombat 11, and Returnal. Those are like the big flashy ones that they showed off. <sighs> Let's finish this out, Alex, and then I'll go, and then we'll we'll really devil this out. When the new PlayStation Plus service launches, PlayStation Now will transition into a new PlayStation Plus offering and will no longer be available as a standalone service. So this is the melding of PS Plus and PS Now. PlayStation Plus Now customers will uh, migrate over to PlayStation Plus Premium with no increase to their current subscription fees at launch. At launch. So that means it can change later. They do also announce a tiered release for the service. It will start in Asian markets, expanded to North America, Europe, and then the rest of the world where Plus is offered. The plan by PlayStation to have most regions by the first half of 2022. So by June, most likely, everyone will have it. In major markets. I should say that. Major markets. Sorry. PlayStation Plus first launched in June 2010. Alongside its free online service at the time, became mandatory for Plus to play online when PS4 launched in November 2013. Other than this... Other than that, sorry, this update will be PlayStation Plus' first major update to the service. It's been pretty stagnant since launch. Also, as a reminder, this change also does bring it into PlayStation Now as a brand, and will, but it will still be in the service, of course. It's just yeah. now as a brand is done. PS Now launched in North America on January 13th, 2015, shortly after Sony's purchase of Gaikai, January 2014. Yeah, Alex. people who actually people who actually have now will be automatically moved to the premier tier with no increase of price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I said. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just inter- it's cool. I, yeah, yeah. I could have swore I read somewhere that there is a, a that there was like not a hidden tier, but there's like a tier in between yes. extra and premium. No, no. So there's some markets that will not have. Um, thank you for bringing the, this the, up, actually. The, for the cloud so, streaming. Yeah, they will not have that as a as an option. So it was called PlayStation Plus... Fuck, I don't remember the name. There, That's what there, I was trying to find. There's certain... Mar- yeah, if you can find it, I appreciate it. I, 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 cannot, I couldn't find it again. I was having trouble finding what it was called again. But it, there's certain markets that do not have the ability of streaming. So they have a thing called PlayStation Plus, like... Deluxe. Like, deluxe, thank you. There we go. Some wordy... Yeah, so it's deluxe and it and it's no streaming, but it adds like premium and extra kind of in one sort of, mm-hmm. and it's just one service but without streaming. But you, I think you kind of get it at a discount because it doesn't have the, you know, it's all this stuff. Mm-hmm. Alex, hmm. we have the full official PlayStation branded. This is what's happening. Yep. It is nowhere near immediate. We still have about two to three months before yep. we see Something anything around, yeah. of it. Yeah, so we're around yep. June. What, what, where do you want to start? We can, you, you, did you like it? Is there something that you see is blaringly missing? I'm sure I can say what it is. Uh, is there anything else that, uh, that you want to bring up out of this? I have plenty to go on, but I want to hear from you. Oh, yeah. No, I, I mean, I definitely, of course, going to get premium. I'm excited to be able to, re- like, to even play these PS3 games. Yeah. More trophies. Games that I've never been able to play, like I never finished Infamous One, Two, the older God of War games. Like now I get to play them. Yes, I'm not gonna like this whole streaming thing, but nope. it's whatever. Um, Did you think that they would fix it? Honestly, I thought they would. I, I thought think they so would too. So, so I thought they would have the option to do either via cloud if you want to, or you could do what, uh, what PlayStation now was able to do, and you could download the game. It's just like they do with PS4 games. Exactly, and but apparently that's not the case. Nope. Now, like, might get rid of that feature. Well, not getting rid of it. They just can't do it. And, and, it seem, and it seems clear that they don't want to put the money in it. I think yeah. it's just it's obvious. It's just like, they don't want to do it. With the Now subscription. Right, uh, right. Well, again, you'll be able to stream PS3 games. You just cannot download them. But, I know, but could, you could download them when you had the PlayStation Now thing. Not could PS3, you not? no. Oh, I thought you could with PS3 PS4 games. I thought you could download. You can, not PS3. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. You've gotcha. never been able to download the PS3 games. Gotcha. I because, thought you could download PS3 games. No, no, because they are having issues using them. Like they're having gotcha. issues even running the games on the system. And it's gotcha. clear to me now, more than ever, that they don't want to do it and they're not going to. They don't want to spend the money. They don't want to utilize uh their engineers that they have on hand to make a service uh no one can tell me it's impossible i don't i don't accept that that's not an answer that is that's just not look, acceptable it's not look if xbox it is, could do it so easily 
Yeah, I don't um, think it was easy, but I do agree that Xbox did do it. Yeah, um, I mean, even and, Nintendo's doing it. Yeah, in a way, yes, they are doing it. Yeah, that's true. Um, uh, spe- uh, since you brought Xbox up, yeah, they, I mean, they they said at launch that these were not meant to play 360 games, but they figured it out. Yeah. Uh, Sony, man, like just figure it out. It's it's kind of ridiculous, honestly. Like it's a little ridiculous that we are yeah. in 2022, and you, you can't, can't figure out how to play PS3 games. I'm sorry, that's just not. It's just not an excuse. It isn't. You can. They have the. They have millions. They have billions of dollars. Like I wonder they can what it- hire a team mm-hmm. of engineers to sit down and go, I know the cellular architecture garbage in PS3 fucked everything up. But you got to figure out a way for people to download PS3 games. I mean, I wonder go. what uh, what it's stopping them from even being able to use physical discs. I mean, they're all Blu-rays. Like, literally, why can't my system... It's a my, great if question, my, Alex. If my, great if my, question. $500 PS5 can read a DVD to play a movie. Why can't it run a Blu-ray? No one's giving me an acceptable answer to that either. Hey, I'm not a techie guy. Uh, maybe there's something in the coding. I don't know. But that is a little strange that I cannot go to a GameStop, a Walmart, whatever, buy a PS3 game, come home, and just put it in. Why can't I do that? Why And also, why is it not even brought up. No one's bringing that up and asking Jim Ryan that. Ask him why, just why they ha- I, they have an answer that I know they're going to answer, and it's going to be garbage answer. It's going to be pre, whatever. Well, that's not in focus should, right now. Should, yeah, yeah, like it's, it's, it's not going to be a, an answer, but but at least ask it. Like I want to know. Yeah. I want to know what he would say. Why can't I grab a PS3 game and put it in? That, Do I, that just and, and I'll add, I don't have PS3 games. All right, I'm just saying as a but, consumer, yeah. it's a little weird that. Well, you know, that's know. what shows that uh, like that just shows that not enough people care for the backwards backwards compatibility. But then people just complain the uh, uh, too much about it. Be like, well, you're not obviously doing enough. Yeah, I just don't. I don't know. They always. Uh, I remember years ago, not years. No, it was years ago actually. I remember years ago people were like saying like hey we don't we didn't add backwards compatibility because no one uses the feature and i just don't believe that i don't oh, i do no, not believe yeah. people do not use backwards compatibility to to sanction saying well we didn't we don't we, you know not enough people use it i don't care then like just figure it out it's just not it's you can't tell me it's impossible it should it should be in the service now am i surprised it's not in there no looking at playstation's history no i'm not at all they kind of do sometimes the bare minimum. Lest we forget, PS3 uh, to go in the store was a fucking web browser, all right? So I, I mean, mean these, I these wanna... guys aren't these guys aren't the highest pedigree of engineering all the time. I mean, but I'm gonna... it is a little disappointing to see I'm... that the premium service. It's you know, let's let's forget it's it's called PlayStation Plus Premium. That yeah. you know, you, you pay a little extra, you're not getting a huge benefit like something like PS3. I would love to go back in PS3. I play gladly, eighteen yeah. dollars a month. Um, to to be able to play PS3 games. I mean, that's I mean, I spent twenty dollars. If you give me an extra thing to where I can literally like, I could have. I done. I do twenty dollars. Like, yeah. Well, we'll see. I this is now again. This is not for me saying I hate the service. I'm not going to use it. I'm I'm paying for premium. Yeah, it's not. Oh, yeah. that mixed up. I'm paying for premium. I'm just saying as a consumer, it's a little disappointing. Uh, and I do hope that they figure it out one day because it's just a, li- it's yeah. just, it's just ridiculous. And also, I- put the Vita games on there. What is this with this? What is this? PlayStation, PS2, and PSP generations. Oh, that's just. Why are we just it's ignoring like, this entire library of games? It's it's like the Vita. It's like the Vita is if PlayStation feels like the Vita was their Wii U. They like never want to <laughs> think about it ever again. They're just like they're like this. It's like a. It's like when you see an X at a bar, and you're just like, oh no. Don't, like, don't honestly, make eye contact. Like, like if I was like an outside person that didn't really know any about this stuff, and I heard and I heard this, I would have been like, PlayStation seems kind of cheap. <laughs> no, like, no, they I, don't I wouldn't they say don't that. Want to do it. I mean, I, they want... I see what you mean. I, I can, I see what you, I see what you mean by that statement. Um, yeah, like I'm not saying they are cheap. No, no, like, no, no, but, but, it, stuff, they, but it does come across as uh, not wanting to put the money where your mouth is money when you're yeah, exactly. when you're when you 
are just kind of ignoring that this is something that people want and you're just like well, not it, doing anything always, about it because uh, don't they always uh, all, aren't they always be like oh yeah we have like the best technicians and stuff like that doing these hardwares of and course. like you know yeah but i mean can you not figure that out <laughs> yeah it's it's a little it's a little ridiculous and i did see people you know bringing up the cell architecture and that's how it's messing everything up and i just i kind of go I don't care. They, no, not I'm my sorry. problem. Yeah, I, you're, yeah. Look, you're the one that created that in the first place. Yeah, figure it out. I would love, and, and hey, I hope it does. Again, I'm playing for premium. I just, I'm, I'm disappointed yet again by PlayStation with this weird moves that they make. Man, it's it's, it's just so strange. They can't just give us something for like they can't give us something for ten years and then be like, yeah, hey, you're never gonna be able to play that ever again. You can't just take it away. Yeah, that's how it used to go, and it just it's changed, and we don't want it anymore. Jim Ryan yeah. gave an interview with Game Industry Job Biz, sticking with PlayStation here. Published on the same day, Jim Ryan gave an interview to Game Industry Job Biz, detailing some points on the new service. One glaring omission by some fans, of course, especially if they um, are looking at Game Pass as this being a, some sort of equivalence on the PlayStation uh, ecosystem. They asked about why there are no day one releases on the service, and when asked, Jim gave a quote, Quote, we feel like we're in a virtuous cycle with the studios <laughs> where the investment delivers success, which enables yet more investment, which delivers yet more success. We like that cycle. And we think our gamers like that cycle too. Um, putting our own games into the service or any of our services upon their release, as you well know, this is not a road that we've gone down in the past, and it's not a road that we're going to go down with this new service. We feel if we were to do that with the games that we make at PlayStation Studios, that virtuous cycle will be broken. Uh, the level of investment that we need to make in our studios would not be possible, and we think the knock-on effect on the quality of the games that we make would not be something that gamers want. End quote. He does go on to say in the interview that nothing is set in stone, but Jim Ryan is pretty, pretty clear that there will not be day one releases, and the value of the service would definitely <sighs> drop if they were to add day one releases. Um, he did hint at, not hint at, sorry, he did directly say that there, there is a value to this because it is on the cheaper side when you're comparing this server to something like Game Pass. It's cheaper because we're not including our day one releases. If we did, it would have to be a lot more expensive. And also, they would not get as much as a return on investment, that big old ROI that people would like to spring up all the time. They would not have as big of a return on investment if they start putting their day one releases inside of a service to money now see if that was the case i don't like that last statement he did is something we don't think it was something the gamers would want are you gonna really so, put that on us so that is true that is a way of kind of deflecting like, the kind of deflecting it like i well, look we don't think gamers would want our games to take a hit in quality and look um honestly i basically agree with everything he says I do think, first off, I don't know why he's saying virtuous cycle. Don't know what the fuck is up with that. Maybe that's some sort of new um, uh, word that they're using, but it's a very strange way of saying how your cycle is powering your games, but that's near here. It's just a weird I thing. Think, I didn't agree with that at all, by the way. It's like Which if one? they were on, like the uh, the quality of the game thing, like are you saying that like if it was on that on that platform that the quality of the game would be worse? I mean, there's amazing games on those type of platforms. Like, are you talking about like, I'm not saying, what is the so like, equivalence, like Game Pass? Is that what you're saying? So, okay, yeah, so let's say with Game Pass. Okay. Not, I mean, like not every game on there is a, like, is like, you know, breaks quality. Like, for example, Hey, let's say uh, Forza or Halo Infinite. Okay. I mean, the quality of that game is still amazing. That did just so, because it's on that service doesn't mean it brought the quality down. Yet, yeah, yet is yeah. I think what we want to bring up. There's still an infancy, right, with Game Pass. People, you know, bring up that it's going for a while. It hasn't really been going for that long, so we're not really seeing the end game yet. I think the end game mm -hmm. is still kind of up in the air on what Xbox wants and what you know Phil wants with Game Pass. You know, do they mm -hmm. want this giant subscription service um clearly it's going to eventually one day be more expensive how much how much money do they need to make to keep releasing triple a quality games let lest we forget they have bought blizzard pending they they're they're by they're buying yeah, let's, Activision let's blizzard, say that yeah. It is interesting to think how are they going to afford games right so a triple a game I think on average costs about three hundred million dollars. 
that's a lot of money. <laughs> I don't think yeah. I need to tell anyone listening to this show that that's a lot of money. That's like th- yeah. like three hundred million dollars. It's a that's a lot. So, I think what Jim Ryan's getting at here, first off, let's uh, uh, I think a perfect example: at Horizon, right? They recently said like they sold like twenty million copies, okay, uh, for the first game. Twenty. This this is you know ballpark. Let's say they averaged thirty dollars a sale for that twenty million. Thirty times twenty. That's 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 a lot of money. That's double double your investment if it was three hundred million dollars into that to that. Uh, so you doubled your money. That's mm. you know just as an example. I'm not saying that's what happened, but to make that much money, I think Game Pass says they have twenty five million subscribers at ten dollars um, a month. So they're getting two hundred and fifty million dollars. Let's pretend like no cuts are given out. So 20, $250 million dollars a month. It's a lot of money, but also it's a lot of games on Game Pass. How does that cut work? Are you giving flat checks out? I highly doubt they're making money off that service. So yeah. it's an interesting thing to bring up from Jim Ryan that's saying like, hey, uh, if we did that, uh, quality would definitely dip because we could not afford to eat the money that Xbox seems gladly to do. They are gladly mm-hmm. eating, eating ass on selling games. How much did Halo Infinite sell? Probably nothing, right? I mean, why? Because you could just buy it on Game Pass. So it's not selling units. So yeah. that's 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 a lot of money you're not making because you're not selling it for sixty bucks. You're selling it for ten dollars a month. Now, is that is that going to work in this? Is that going to work it? <laughs> if you did this, is that virtuous cycle gonna gonna help power your PlayStation games? I don't know. They make AAA games almost every quarter not every quarter but like basically every other quarter so they're having large games launch for a premium price of 60 bucks which they're getting most of their profit in that first month usually and they eventually like go down to like 20 bucks but yeah um go ahead um and 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 npd can you remind me what npd npd is like the people that that uh so Every I'm month, saying like, like, like talk about how how much so like i'm saying so like let's uh npd you can't uh like for example halo infinite uh, since it's the 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 uh the copies that are all downloaded through game pass that can't be considered into npd correct no they don't know the that, and, and they don't know that so no. okay Microsoft yeah, so, would not tell them that number well, I'm, well i mean it, it was number two in december it was like i was just saying like it doesn't seem like to affect the game it, it, being, being on Game Pass didn't affect its NPD, right? But that's for the month of December. And did anything else launch with it? What was number one? Probably Call of Duty. Vanguard, yeah. And then three was Brilliant Diamond. Four, Mod, uh, uh, Madden Twenty Two. So it sold pretty good. Sounds like yeah, yeah. Okay. It sold pretty good. I would love to know the numbers. Does, and does I, it yeah. Say? And I'm not, um no no okay. it, it does not say. I, I was trying to find it, but it did not tell me. But you are definitely. Like, I might go ahead. No, I was gonna say, yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm not gonna say that it's gonna be for every game, but it definitely. I mean, it's just because it's on, like I said, just I, I feel like it's just because it's on Game Pass doesn't mean it's gonna, it's gonna be that way for each game. That's true. Well, I think the way Game Pass makes money is monetization. They don't give a shit if you buy the game. They want you to buy stuff in the game. Let's go look mm-hmm. at Halo Infinite store. There's like garbage everywhere that you can spend money on, right? Game Pass will probably make the majority of its money in some way figuring out how to monetize things in the game. If you don't yeah. mind that, go ahead. Hey, more power to you. I do. I don't want every game to have monetization. That's one of the major factors of, of launching on Game Pass is you incentivizing people because they felt like they haven't paid anything for the game. They might double down on some in-game currencies, and you've now double-dipped kind of in a way. You're getting money mm-hmm. off the Game Pass subscription. You're also getting money off the people who are, you know, kind of thinking in their head, oh, I got this game for free. Uh, well, I mean, I can talk myself into buying some, you know, in-game coins. Let's buy some in-game coins and, you know, buy this cool armor. So, How many, how many copies do you think Halo uh, Infinite sold? Shit, I don't know. Uh, I'll say four million. 81 million copies and it brought in almost six billion dollars okay that's a lot of money it's a lot of money so So, six billion dollars 
That's what it's it says right here. It says uh, from Bloomberg. It says uh, in Shit. July 2020, it showed a nine-minute trailer for Halo Infinite, the latest installment from its blockbuster gaming franchise, which has sold more than 81 million copies and brought in almost six billion. Eighty-one million copies. That's not. That's not right. Let me. Let me I'll, I'll that's, keep that's, reading. Let me it, see. Yeah, it did not sell eighty-one million copies. Let's see. Uh, well, the latest that, installment I, from its blockbuster gaming franchise, which has sold more than eighty-one million copies and brought in almost six billion. Halo fans have been waiting to get a team. Let's see. They're saying Halo Infinite sold eighty-one million copies. Let's see. If it did, hey, good for them. That sounds incredibly wild. Because that's a lot of money. And how are they counting the sales? I mean, hey, it could be real. Fuck if I know. I, I don't remember that's them all, ever stating Bloomberg, the numbers. That's, that's all Bloomberg tells me, so let me see. I would uh, look it up, but I know... Because it, it says... Uh, or I read somewhere else that it said uh, Halo Infinite was the second best selling out of its series. Uh, Let me see. Yeah, I don't even think there's like 81 million Xboxes to buy that thing. Is there? <laughs> I don't know. That would mean like every Xbox bought it. How many? And, yeah, but it, while, while he looks that up, I, I'll go back to my. Book. Okay, no, wait, no, that's why did it, why did it show me Black Ops? I said Halo Infinite. I will, and uh, back to what I was saying. Uh, I do agree with Jim Ryan here. He, He's stating, basically, we can't give away our games on Game Pass because we're just not yep. going to make the money that we do while making them. And that's going to fuel the next game that will then fuel the next game. That will fuel, you know, Horizon is going to fuel God of War Ragnarok. That's going to fuel, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I agree with his base assessment. Yep. And I do like that we're getting first, first, I, I we're getting single player games, which, I, which is what I want. I want more single player games. We, I have enough multiplayer games. Mm. I think that's why we're going to see in Game Pass a lot more multiplayer focused games. And what? And to be fair, we're we're already seeing that with Jim Ryan stating he's he's going to have what seventeen, eighteen games or whatever. Yeah. Or no, it was I like mean, twenty. The statement was was it was very written very poorly. Yeah. The one at GameSpot actually, it's a, more than eighty one million Halo games have been sold throughout two thousand and since two thousand and one. There we go. Thank like, you, GameSpot. Jesus. <laughs> no, uh, that's why I was like, I was no, like, no, no. yeah, because I was like, I was on your side too. I was like, that's a lot. That's a lot of that. That's impossible. I was like, no, but what? it's okay. Bro. Hey, we we make mistakes. Yeah, like, you caught it. Good job. I was like, that's impossible. Because <laughs> I don't even think if I really had to sit here and think, I doubt there might be eighty-one million combined Xboxes. Yeah. So that means one Xbox bought a copy each time now. But that that makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Each yeah. Halo. Yeah. All combined total. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, they haven't said they haven't said Halo no, they Infinite don't, yet. It, well, they don't talk sales numbers because they don't want to. They don't want to. They made Game Pass look bad. That's why they don't really talk numbers. Mm -hmm. I don't even think they. Uh, I think they said. Um, the only reason we know how many people played Forza Horizon is because in game it tells you. I think mm -hmm. it tells it tells you how many people like signed on the game. So neither here nor there. Back yeah. to like the original statement. Yeah, look the cycle. That he's bringing up, although very weirdly put, virtuous to fuck that up. I do agree with his overall assessment being, hey, we need to make the money because we can't put these games on, on a service. We just can't afford it. We would have to, like, price the shit out of it. And, and look, I'm saying right now, Game Pass is good right now. As long as you're cool paying double the price in a few years, it's still, still going to be a great service. Just be ready when that comes. And if that keeps the quality there, Alex, then I think you're right. I think... Yeah. I think Microsoft, because Microsoft's eating fucking shit with this Game Pass. Like, they, mm -hmm. they have to eat the money that they're losing through Game Pass. And they don't care. Because it's, yeah, it's also crazy. Imagine, so. uh, cool, because imagine all the computers that have Game Pass PC as well. Yeah. Like, yeah, they're, all making, PCs. they're making a lot of yeah. money, but trust me, they're not making money off Game Pass. They, they have, they, they are hitting, they're getting a hit with all, because they have to make these huge checks. They're just, it's not, it's not profitable yet. Yet. I they I do think they are going to hit a number, and then once they hit that number, and once they hit a time frame, spigot turns on. They double the price. Uh, most people pro probably stay because Netflix has raised their price like every year or something like that, and no one leaves it. So they just have to hit Netflix like stuff. Like once they start hitting that, 
astronomical number where people basically you want to be a netflix where people don't even remember they buy it they just it's mm. a thing that you have it's not even yeah. a question if you if you still have it it's just it's on auto renew and you don't even look at it and it just I, it comes out every month you don't even notice that's literally what my wife and i were talking about the other day because we were just uh you know looking at through our financials and i was like um and i was like yeah no the PlayStation and Xbox, those are two subscriptions that I don't even look at anymore because I need those to to for the systems. I if not, then I can't use the system. What's the point of having the systems? Yep. So yeah, so those are required. Yeah, it's like internet. Like you re, you're required internet to to do a lot of things in in the now in society. Yeah, yeah, definitely. No, I agree. Um, any lasting uh, points with this? I, I what a great question. I, I like this. You, uh, I, I did, I do. I, w- I want to hear a little bit more of your kind of expounding on um, um, you not agreeing with the the Jim Ryan thing. Do you think it's uh the the full on quote of uh of the level of investment we need to make in our studios would not be possible? It was that specific issue, um, where you kind of like look at your eyes and go, mm, you know, what 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 specifically did you say? You're like, I don't I don't trust that. It's just a, it just it's just like when like this just statement just seems like it's like. Like for the level of investment we need to make, it's like so. You so you, I mean, you wouldn't you anything that's making you money? Wouldn't you want to put a hundred percent in, no matter what? Right. <laughs> like either way, like you should put your all in in whatever you do. Right. No matter. I mean, I don't know. I just. I, I don't know. I'm in and I, it's, I'm a little conflicted with it. I don't no, know. I get it. We'll I see. get it. I get it. And, and it's a it's a little bit and, of a messy quote. I think he does kind yeah, of like hit his point. And also, let's not forget, virtual signal is fucking stupid as shit. But yeah. but I do I do think he is both hitting his point, but also he's he's put it in this PR garbage that like it it subtracts yeah. from what his overall yeah. thoughts are. Which is like I said, like if like, we he, put I, it in a service, we will not be able to afford. To keep making yeah. our level of quality game, and literally that's all he has to say. Like I, I like straight up instead of just be like, oh, it's not something gamers would oh, it's want. It's not something gamers Let's, want. <laughs> don't drag me into this because <laughs> I would definitely would do it. I would <laughs> want it, and I would. I mean, like, like just to support. I mean, I buy games off of Game Pass and stuff just because I want to support it. Yeah. I mean, it just be just. I mean, get out of here with that statement. <laughs> <laughs> we're moving on but but a, a good talk all around i did enjoy that right thank you jim ryan for that virtuous cycle mm. microsoft xbox game pass we're gonna we're we're sticking with subscription services i guess this today <laughs> it's just back and forth from sony and microsoft according yep. to trusted sources with windows central xbox is moving forward with plans on making a family plan with xbox game pass windows central details this with their source info Paying on a higher tier for an Xbox game family plan will net access to five players for games across the entire library. Now, apparently, this is something that Xbox has been trying to do, but they are actually having problems with how royalties would have been uh, divided out, and that kind of halted what they were going to do with the family plan. So apparently, they've wanted to do this for a while. But an issue came up with, like, all right, well, because I'm sure they pay per, per player playing on Game Pass or something. Mm-hmm. So like, all right, what if like the fifth person on a family plan plays a game for like two hours? Does it like, do we still, you know, is it the same amount of money we give them? So apparently they had to like buff out how royalties were going to work. Mm-hmm. And it looks like they figured it out. So they're going to move ahead and they're going to add it eventually. We don't know time frame. The sources just said, hey, they're, they, it's, it's happening. So be ready. Mm-hmm. No prices were said. You can kind of guess, like, all right, what's um, Game Pass times five is fifty bucks, right? So maybe it will be thirty-five. Game Pass Ultimate, fifteen times five, so that's uh, seventy-five, right? So, do you think that it so will conflict? Like Forty. Sorry. Do you think that it, like like uh, hmm. let's say if let's say I get Game Pass for the family, like okay. uh, when my kids will want to play Game Pass and stuff like that, do you think that, that will conflict? upon people who game share for example you and i game share right mm. do you think that would conflict to that no because it's probably okay. two different things you're doing you're probably paying for game pass and inside of game pass click the family plan and then you probably have to then invite each person to your family plan which i imagine this is going to be a net inside System. of your uh, xbox okay not necessarily tied to what your home xbox is 
Okay. Yeah, because I was about to say, if it was tied to system-based, that would kind of suck. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think you would send okay, an invitation so to the system. And then yeah, the system... Like... No, it's going to be probably profile-based, which means profile it's going to be yeah. probably email invites. So you'll yeah. probably email someone. They click the link. It reminds me a lot of how I had to do YouTube TV. So my, my parents... Thank you, Dad, if you're listening to this episode, gave me YouTube TV because I couldn't afford it anymore. So I was like, hey, you know, I, I yeah. told him, I was like, hey, I, and he just haphazardly was like, oh, I have YouTube TV. Do you want the, do you want the, I was like, yeah. <laughs> so, Did you so see Netflix he, is uh, cracking down on, on that password sharing. Yeah. So what's up with that? Like, are they so going to charge an extra two ninety nine per household that has an extra? So I guess they're using IP addresses or yeah, something? Yeah, I was just because, about to say, are they using IP? For example, or? for, yeah. So for example, my mother-in-law pays for Netflix. Okay. So they, it's their household. They pay the whatever, how much it is. Okay. We use it, so yeah. they're good. I were, so the the membership is gonna get charged an extra two ninety nine. Shit. So what if a, what if another what? household has? Does that mean what? it's gonna get charged another two ninety nine again? What or if, do we get charged? I'm sure there's an FAQ, but like, what if you use it on your phone, and you're like out of town? I assume that doesn't work right that way, but I that's just, weird. Yeah, like, and that, also, that's what, what counts as a new login. Is it the? Is it on a TV specifically? Is it a computer? Because computers can move. So yeah, exactly. That's why I was like, I don't know how they're gonna do this. Apparently, I think apparently they've been trying to do this, by the way, for a long time. Achievers, yeah. I'm sure there's a lot of people. They, there's been headlines like this for. Ye- I remember this like five years ago. Mm-hmm. like three five years ago they were like oh yeah they they're trying to they're trying to it. figure out the way of charging because they know people share they're true yeah. they they've always been because i remember at yeah. first they were gonna like do something with they your started password. Doing it in the, it's in south america right now i think it's three i think it's chile peru and somewhere else they're doing it and it, uh, they're testing it right now and it's like but it's like a 299 search or like extra it's i don't i don't know how it's gonna work but yeah it's, it's, that's it's dumb that sounds really dumb and like way too complicated to yeah. like that sounds just way too annoying to be like yeah we're yeah. gonna start doing this like literally like what if i'm like for example going to disney we're at the yeah, hotel that's what i'm saying and like, i sign in on netflix and it's like are you, how are you gonna know that i'm not that person if i'm using the I, same login and was, so it, gonna, was like, it net? I don't remember if it was Netflix, but remember you had to register devices with certain things back in the day. Uh, Hulu. Was I it Hulu? Hulu does that. Yeah, you it's had either, to like register either, your devices. Or, it's either Hulu or Vudu, one of them. Okay. Because I know Vudu has a certain amount of uh, devices you can have on the system, it's and I know Netflix dumb. used to have that. So dumb. Like this is like it sounds way way too complicated. Mm-hmm. Way too. Yeah. It's... <laughs> Sticking with Xbox. Xbox has a new publishing division. With a focus on cloud native titles, cloud native, Microsoft has opened a new division that will quote work with studios to develop cloud native titles and bring mm. them exclusively to the Xbox ecosystem. End quote. This is that was a direct quote. Kind of listing. This will be led by Kim Swift, former lead of publishing of second party projects at Google Stadia, who, who joined Xbox last June, who is probably best known for her lead designing role on Portal, and was formerly cloud gaming director for Xbox. While there has not been any, quote, cloud native games, and quote, all games currently on the cloud are just games made for home consoles put on the cloud, it's unclear if they want to develop specifically for cloud-based gaming, which is kind of what they're hinting on. Like, they want to make sure games are made in the cloud and then distributed out. It's, it's kind of strange. Maybe there's a new store almost planned for stuff like this. Who knows? If they want to go back on their original pitch for Crackdown 3, I wanted to bring this up, Alex. You remember when they originally debuted Crackdown 3, uh, they demoed a way of using cloud based technology that could a- offload large loads so the hardware would not have to dip in performance. Longtime fans of Xbox will remember the original idea was given uh, was in Crackdown 3, there was these large environments and skyscrapers, and you would, uh, you would be able to destroy and blow all these ups, and they would be impacted by physics uh, in, in the engine. So if you would blow something up, Obviously, like a something like an Xbox would have trouble loading all the physics needed to shoot all the pieces of the building around. So what the cloud would do was offset that large load into the cloud so that your system would not be impacted when you blew up something like that. So I was curious that maybe this will be brought back into the fold because that was a huge thing. People don't really talk about this anymore. But when in 2013, around like when they were talking about how like Xbox so almost One was doing- ten so almost ten years ago, you're telling me that they were willing to do something like that 
but certain people are not uh, willing to go do backwards compatible on certain systems. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. All right. The Xbox, the Xbox would then yeah, offload the clouds. If you remember, yeah, 2013 when Xbox One was doing the horrible reveal of the Xbox. Xbox was doing the horrible reveal of the Xbox One. Time. Yeah, no one does. When they were doing that horrible reveal, they did hide in that Crackdown 3 would do something like that, and then Crackdown 3 came out 10 years later or something like that. So, like, yeah, like it, it, came, it, took, it came out, like, eight years after that. I mean, um, it never even But did that, that was the original plan, was that the oh, cloud would offset large loads, so your games would load faster. God, that was nine years ago. Yeah, and I think that, and that was before SSDs and all that shit, too, so, like. That, yeah, that, yeah, that, that was that was a while ago. That would destroy your your system. Imagine your Xbox One having to handle a Crackdown Three blowing up because I don't know if you remember Alex. That was a giant skyscraper, so like it would blow up and you would see the pieces like going mm -hmm. out, and they're like, yeah, the cloud is now off offsetting this load. I guess I don't know if it was predetermined or if it's always running because this was a way of trying to justify why you're always online with the DRM thing. They were trying to be like, yeah, you're, you know, you're going to have to be online all the time, but you'll be able to do cool stuff like this. And people just were like, we don't give a fuck. I don't want to be online to play my video games. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Another interesting bit of the presentation, she gave a detailing her outlook on cloud gaming. Gave a few tools for devs. I thought these were very cool. So these are three things that she kind of highlighted. The ability to create QA bots which could use machine learning to test games on a huge scale. Toxicity detection and filters using machine learning to improve games that have procedurally generated features. My biggest one was the first one, the ability to create QA bots, which can use machine learning to test games on a huge scale. That sounds kind of cool. You know, doesn't sound good if you're a QA guy. But it's but it's a cool idea for a way of using like cloud based things. Like you 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 probably pay Microsoft like some money and they like deploy a hundred bots to QA a game. Like that sounds kind of sick. And like That's they auto report the bugs that they find and like hey you know this bug is here and and you can figure out how to fix it. It's, it's just really cool. I wanted to bring that part up. Mm -hmm. That was a she gave like a an opening presentation I guess to like her division. And this is this was one of the kind of like slide things and that's. It's pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. Will, all, will any of this happen? Who knows? Who knows? Mm. But it was pretty cool. Alex, anything on this cloud native gaming? It's way out of my uh, thinking okay. expertise. Okay. Um, let's, because the QA let's, bot things, I, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> so QA, uh, quality and um, assurance, right? Or, oh, uh, quality gotcha, and okay. assessment, I think. Sorry. I, I think that, so. Maybe. So when you do a game, it's a gaming tester. Like uh, you pay Got someone it. to do random shit in your game. Got right? it. So you just grab a, a bucket and throw it now. at the wall. Does it break something? It doesn't. Okay. Now go. You know, there's there's things. Uh, a great yeah, episode on what QA does. Uh, last stand. Is this public? I don't know. You might have. It might be behind paywalls. I don't know. I know that Last Stand Media had an episode where there was a QA guy. And he like detailed what they do, and it's really cool. So, hmm. so if you check check on his channel, Last Stand, uh, if it's live, it might be. If it's not, you might have to pay on Patreon, which I know most people are like they're not doing that. But if you want them to, see, it was really good. Episode. What what was I talking about? Oh yeah, cloud game. Uh, what I wanted to bring up, Alex, though, let's let's kind of narrow the lens then. Cloud native gaming. When you hear that, what do you think? Because I, that's what stumps me. Is she speaking primarily of, hey, and that's kind of what they're saying, and they're like, kind of like little, little thing. Work with studios to develop cloud-native titles and bring them exclusively to the Xbox ecosystem. I'm curious if they are thinking like, hey, let's make a cloud game. Or are they just saying what I brought up, where it's like, let's use the cloud to bring your game easier to Xbox. I don't know. Do you think that's something that could happen, though, that We'll eventually have a game that's just a cloud game and you don't download it, you just play it, and that's like how it's intended to be played. Like it's intended to be this cloud gaming games, thing. There's games like that now, but like it just it's it's weird because like when they were uh like when Google Stadia does certain games on the cloud and then I uh Right, but what I mean is like we have not had a game that is exclusively made 
Yeah, that's for, true. For like the like, I just don't see. I don't know, Stadia kind of does do that, but it, I just it's don't see the point I mean. because I don't see the. I, I never really see the point of it, just a cloud game because then what's the point of the hardware? Because like for example, I'm using uh, was it Stadia or? Or was it X Cloud? I was using just my phone to play Valhalla. I'm not using any fancy tech. So like if I do that on the on the system, like am I really using any of the hardware of the system? I'm just trying to make it to run smooth, but I'm actually using all the the hardware. So what's the point of the hardware then if it's all just cloud based? Yeah, so I actually kinda thought about that too. Like what is why i don't know like well, maybe yeah. this like is it's cool get... but like why no, 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 because... it is yeah i agree it is very cool maybe this is a kind of way of maybe it's twofold maybe you get more of a casual audience that are just they're not going to buy the system maybe they... but yeah but they'll pay game pass maybe on and play on their phone or this is an answer to people who want an xbox portable they're like hey we'll never making that yeah but you have your phone and you could just play cloud, get base games on there whenever yeah. it works. Because I've never had a good experience, by the way, on, on yeah. X Cloud ever. But- no, yeah, it's well because it's 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 an it's annoying too because uh, like for the cloud, I feel like the cloud thing is for it's to target people who are like, oh, so you know you don't have to worry about downloading it because you know you don't you don't want to wait so long and stuff like that. But you still need that crazy internet connection to even play the cloud games. I have great internet connection, and some of the times that stuff doesn't even work yet. So I'm like, I like, so I, I, it's hard, it's hard to figure out still what this cloud is supposed to target. Like what audience is it supposed to target? Yeah, I, I actually agree. That's a, I think it's very stupid if you bring up like, who is this for? Is it for hardcores? Hey, you know, like I said before, we're not making an X-Bot, X-Boy, whatever you want to call it. We're not making those. Yeah. Yeah. You have your phone. Use your phone when you want that experience. You're on your subway, whatever the hell. Or is this for, hey, we know you're never going to buy a system. You're not going to sit down. You're not going to pay 300 bucks to buy a Series S to then plug up and run, you know. But the phone that you have on you right now can play the game that you want to play. You want to play, I don't know, Season of, Sea of Thieves? Grab your phone. You can play right now. All you need to do, buy a $60 controller so it's a little easier to play the game. There, boom, done. Maybe that's what they want? I don't know. I think, I think Cloud is such in its infancy I don't even know if they know what they're doing. I think they just yeah, are kind of making stuff and they're going to see what happens. They're going to mm. see like, hey, we made this thing. Let's see if people like it. Yeah. I don't know. Also, uh, to quickly bring up, I just got a notification on my phone that Jeff, Jeff Keighley is hosting a Twitter space um, and, it's, and it's named Summer Game Fest 2022. So, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> God, dude. I get it. I get it. Get your money, bro. But damn, that that this dude is making sure he's people like, yep, know. Hey, hey I'll like, be hey, there. I'll yeah. be there. Yep, uh, E3's out. out. Well, I guess I'm in. Shout out to him, man. Speaking of more online services, GTA Plus was announced. It was re- announced almost r- basically when we aired our last episode, I believe. No, uh, it's you. called GTA Plus. This is a here's a breakdown of the benefits. I I grabbed all the benefits of the first month. This is live from Jan. Uh, sorry, this is live from March 29th to April 27th. So, if you sign up for this, you get 500 million dollars automatically to your Maze bank account. The Principip Divested Eight. Oh my God! Hold on. Along with a com- complimentary house special works upgrade for it. Because it was made available to purchase by the general public, plus the HSW Orange Trip. I'm not reading all this. The auto, you'll get the auto shop located in the La Mesa, introduces an assortment of gameplay updates from Los Santos Tuners. Uh, waived LS Car Meet membership fees. What does any of this mean? Uh, yacht owners can upgrade to super yachts for no... Di- what? There's yachts in the game? The Gousset yes. Frog T? Gusset? It's French, right? So it's probably Gusset. Gusset? Yeah, maybe. Rockty and Broker Prolapse. Oh my god. Basketball top and shorts automatically added to your wardrobe. The conveyor library for the Mammoth Avenger. I'm not reading all that. A selection of free paints and emblems for the auto shop. Three times Grand Theft Auto Cash and RP on Howe's Special Works Race Series. 2X Car Meet Rep on the Street Race Series. So a lot of car stuff. 
I assume that's what people like the most because that is is almost all car stuff and you get a super yacht if you already have a yacht, I guess. So it's all vehicle stuff pretty much. I mean, that's it's what I mean all, that isn't yeah. that what it is though, right? I mean, yeah. that's kind of what Grand Theft Auto is, right? At this point, yeah, you just pretty well, oh, what vehicle do you got? Uh, I have two questions for this. First off, uh, if you want to know, it's 5.99 a month. Uh so 6 bucks, I guess if you want it. Of course, you need a copy of the game. But <laughs> Go go at it, Alex. I have two things. First, second one's a little more mm. serious. So I'm gonna wait for that. First one, okay. kind of jokey. So I'm just gonna ask you: You want to play this? You want this? I don't know. You you were playing Grand Theft Auto for a while. Uh, achieve long time achievers would know there was like a little stint that you played with your uh, brother. Yeah, no, I, I did play it for a little while because I thought it was. I mean, I wanted to try the, you know, the the what are they called again? The heists, and, and I was like, I thought that was cool. But no, I I don't go. I wouldn't go to that extent to buy a subscription. It would be for. I think it's those for those it's people for who just. It's, it's literally the people who don't play nothing but GTA. Yeah, and we know a few. <laughs> yes. Now yeah. you say for the hardcore and things like that. Is this? It, but you we did recently have the upgrade. To, by the way, this is only for a Series X PS5 people. Yeah. Uh, the subscription service. You, you, so we saw the recent upgrade. Uh, you did try it out. Anything mm. with that? So it runs 60 frames. It runs really smooth. Uh, there's performance, performance ray tracing, and then there's, of course, fidelity. Fidelity, everything looks sharp, but runs 30 frames. Runs, I, I won't recommend that one, of course. <laughs> right. Um, performance, it's, I mean, it runs, it runs great. Um, but uh, I would recommend the performance ray tracing just because it, it literally uh, performance runs tar- uh, targets or not targets, but it's a, it's a solid. It stays at sixty no matter what. Uh, performance ray tracing targets sixty, which it go- it goes like from like fifty to sixty, but it also has the adds the ray tracing, which does look really nice. So I, it I mean it's it, it's so far it's ran great. Okay, you liked <clears throat> it. Yeah, you're not yeah I mean, with it's, it though. It's, no, I mean everyone. If I'm bored, I'll jump on, do a mission. I'm just literally doing it for more achievements. Okay, yeah. So it's just some. Um, it's an in between game. It's not, you're throwing exactly. it on when you're bored. Yep. Okay. Now, yeah. the ser- more serious question. We're seeing this service being added to Grand Theft Auto, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. as if GTA Six's single player mode was not clearly, not even maybe not existing. It seems almost more so now. Mm-hmm. Right now, I ask you, Alex, will Grand Theft Auto 6 have a single player mode? I think it's going to be included. As, I think it's going to be intertwined. It's, 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 there's not a single player and a multiplayer. Agree. I think it's, it's one in the same. It's I a like, division. For example, correct. I think it's division. Yeah. I think I think you were going to say uh, the, the what I was going to say. What 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 were you going to? I was going to say time for. I'm okay. I, I don't guess know why. that's not I don't know okay. Why. Sure. I don't know why. I th- I think uh, I think of it as gonna it's gonna be a division. I think you I think while yeah, you yeah, play, there might be a setting that where it says no online or something, but the rec like the default will be you're you in an are, online yeah. world. Yep. You could there's a single player mode and I would not be shocked if the single player character is who you also bring into the online mode. Oh yeah. So, so you're create a character you will maybe start at the beginning of the game. There is a sing, there is a single player mode for audio listeners. I did I did air quotes. Quotations. It's yeah. yeah. It's like Division where sure, yeah, the, the you can play story. by yourself. Yeah, that's yeah. not the intended way to play though. So they yeah. want the 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 intention will be you play online. I think it yep, will be I can see that you're gonna play. You're gonna create your own character. Yep. You're you're literally on GTA Online, mm-hmm. but the world because the, the rumors, you know, it's set to what like it's the Vice City. Everything's everything's together pretty much. It's hard. It's it, there's so it's everywhere. Yeah, it's like, the only thing I've seen. Together. The only thing I've seen is someone said that there is a hidden look hidden in Grand Theft Auto. Uh, 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 San Andreas. There's a picture on a bar that kind of hints that that uh that what the next game is going to be, but no one's been able to figure out what it is. Um, they they've been hinting that the uh that there's a picture in San Andreas that might hint at where the next game is going to be, but we no one knows if that's true. No one knows if that's in Vice City. 
mm. you know, it could be speculate. Who knows? I don't know. Yeah. Maybe it is. Maybe it is Grand Theft Auto World. That sounds crazy to, to say. There, I, There's no way at launch they're going to be, by the way, there's three different areas you can go in. Go. Like, I could see expansions. Yeah. I could see that. But it seems kind of wild to be like, oh, by the way, we made everyone's wet dream. All Grand Theft Autos are in the game. Like, like that's basically what people are saying. Like, every city is in and at nah, once. Maybe I feel like that's. Tank. I feel like that's a. I feel like that's a, a loss in. Um, uh, like it's a loss in opportunity for further expansions. Like you said, like I would just say, like one big island or like, or wherever you're at. I don't fucking know how the <laughs> GTA works. It, every, yeah. Normally, it's always an island. It looks like you're always surrounded by a body of water. Yeah um you're in this new i think it's going to be a whole new map and then later on like i feel like there's going to be seasons i think there's going to be either seasons or there's going to be some type of level tier thing or what was it called the you know the season tier thing battle you go pass? up I, in a way i don't want to say that they're going to add a battle pass but i feel like they they would have kind of like something similar okay i don't know why but like be like oh you know if you get to this level you'll get you you you'll get more money or you get a, this gun or an outfit for your character but then later like on they'll start, be a, they'll start adding a bit oh hey you can now enter los santos or hey you can now enter vice city so i could see that i could see yeah i mean hey i would not be i think the i think the whatever this is it's gonna be one location mm-hmm. and then i i i'm i would not be surprised if there's an expansion called uh los santos there's an expansion called Vice City, it's, you know, and you're going to all these places. Maybe not the mm-hmm. whole map. Maybe it's a section that yep. you fly to that you can have. That's, your... when, that's when you see past characters, things like that. Yeah. Who know? I, I, who they? I whoever pretends like they know exactly what they're gonna do. No, I don't, no. If they could go so many different ways. They can still do the Grand Theft Auto Five way of that. Hey, there's a single player and there's an online mode, and they're completely separate and they don't touch each other. No way, yep. no way that's going to happen. Don't believe that for a second, but it could. It could be only online. It could be no single player at all. Who knows? They yep. Either thing makes sense because regardless of the fact, they're going to make a shit ton of money. So they don't oh, care. Yeah. Whatever they do, they're making a lot of yeah, money. Yeah, if they're adding a, a brand new subscription to GTA Online, you for sure that's not going away. That oh, is going to be their main oh, focus. Oh, they, wanted, they, want you, they want you to have it now so you're ready mm-hmm. to pay for it for the new game. Like, like mm-hmm. they want you in that mindset now. So, so this is no question that not only are you going to pay them 60 bucks, you're also going to drop $6 a month. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, sir. Jesus I was going to say, yeah, Christ, I could man. see GTA, GTA Online. That's just the title. It says GTA Online and the E just flips and it turns into a six. And then you hear the... Dun, 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 dun. Mm-hmm. Anyways. That is your this kind of episode, episode is long. Let's see. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we got the date updates for you. Let me know if you gotta go, Alex. By the way, I can, no, I can no, take the good. show for the rest. No, uh, we are date good. updates now. Let's start with games with gold for April. Another site: Hue, Outpass, Coloki, X, MX what? versus AT. Yeah, exactly. MX versus ATV Alive. Those are your games with gold, Alex. I did the thing again. Uh- I know you're already doing it. Can you give me the dates for those, please? Uh-huh. I forgot to add it. Sorry. It's but- funny. MX vs. ATV Alive. I played that for the first time on PSP. I played the heck out of that game. I remember the game. I think I played it as a demo. I think. I think there was a demo for that game. I think I played it like a long time ago. Uh-huh. Breath of the Wild 2 has been pushed to spring 2023. It, I'll be honest. If you're surprised by this, you got to wake up. Just wake up. All right. I did uh, what did I say? Everyone said I was crazy. Now remember this: there will be a new switch that launches with that. Take it to the bank. There you Take go. To the bank. The Thank you. Going back to that, another site: April first to the thirtieth. Hue, April sixteenth to May fifteenth. Outpass Kaloki X, April first to the April fifteenth. MX versus ATV Alive, April sixteenth to the thirtieth. Alex, mm-hmm. anything on Breath of the Wild two delay? I mean, Do you think I'm, I'm in crazy? no rush. I'm saying there's a switch. No, God, no. With, okay, thank you. But I said yeah. this on... Um... I knew exactly that I was going to get delayed. As soon as they were, like, they were showing it, I was like, we literally have seen nothing for this game. By the way, we're not reminder, getting it. As a reminder, we still don't know the title. Yeah. Just as a reminder we, for everyone. We're still, call, we're still, still calling it Breath of the Wild sequel. 
We still don't know what it's called. And people are saying, like, it's for sure coming out in a few months. Go Anyways, uh, do you think I'm crazy, though, saying that there will be a new Switch with this? I don't know. I I was called crazy Same by now the one oh. and only Emmett Watkins Jr. on this Player Cub Utopia podcast that you can find over on Players Club YouTube's channel. He said that. So, he said I was crazy. He said, no way is that going to happen. And I told him, you're crazy. Go look at the 3DS and tell so me you're saying, they're not going to release a million Switches. Are you, gonna, are, you say, are you saying a Switch side-by-side -side release or a Switch a within that same A brand new year? Switch. Okay. Like, there is something that is a new switch. It is not a switch you can't use. It is not a special version. It is a no, new no, like, switch. It like is a for, new let's switch. Say, let's call it the 4K switch. Let's, yeah, let's sure. just call it that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, let's call it the 4K switch. I can see it. Thank you. Okay, that's all I want yeah. to say. I'll just I curious. can see it. The, the, I, I was like the crazy guy in the room. So I the doubted original, myself, if I'm being the honest. Really, the original switch has been out since 2017. We just got the OLED in 2021. Technically, well, 20 technically, we've had three different versions of that since 2017. We've yeah. had version two in red box with the new battery. We had the light. Then we had the OLED. You're telling me Nintendo will not release a new system in two years? You're crazy. Here, here. Let's let's give you let's give you the the rundown of all oh, the 3ds. Thank you, thank you. This is what I bring up. Like people when they say I'm crazy, I'm like, did we forget the 3ds? I was there. Yeah, the amount of 3ds's. Go ahead. No, give, all right. Give it to so me. Let's see. All right. So let's see. Nintendo 3ds in 2011. Nintendo 3ds XL 2012. Nintendo 2ds 2013. New 3ds. Yeah, new 3DS 2015, new 3DS XL 2015, and new 3D new 2DS XL 2017. Literally year after year, there was a new one. Achievers, like really, people. Achievers, yes, there's gonna be a new Switch. Achievers, you're gonna That's look one, at me. Two, three, four, five. You're gonna listen to that and go, I'm crazy. Come on. There's, there's literally six different. Series in the in the the two DS three DS families. You're gonna listen to that lit, please, please. Get ready to fork over four hundred bucks for the new Switch for Breath like of the Wild two. Like literally, we got the Switch, Switch Lite, Switch OLED. I mean, that's three, right? That's all the only three we got. We had the the OG Switch, the OG Switch, the Switch with the new switch battery. Switch with battery. Yep. OLED Lite. That's all of them. OLED Lite. Yeah, we're still missing like three, four systems. I'm sure we're getting, we're getting them. We're don't worry. Yeah. If you don't, it, it, don't believe me, I've been saying this for a while. But hey, if you don't, hey, uh, look, this guy's a fucking idiot. You know, I'm just some guy. You don't have to believe me. Go over to Matt Piscatella's Twitter. That dude is way smarter than I am. Go believe him. Look at him. He look, go, don't don't eat. I'm not even gonna tell you who he is. Go read about him, and then look at his tweets. And I retweeted one of his tweets the other day out of just pure validation because I was like. I Thank you. How about, How about this? We'll make a bet be between us two versus Emmett. <laughs> Just while he's not here? Yeah, I love that. <laughs> yeah. No, if he listens to this, if he listens to this, if we win, we get a pizza. If he wins, we, we send him a pizza. I'll send How him about a steak. That? Oh, there he goes. Emmett? Yeah. And Mr. Watkins Jr. Steak. ain't getting a steak. PlayStation Plus games for April. Hood Outlaws and Legends. Wow. SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for the King on Rehydrated and Slay the Spire. Very shocked about Hood Outlaws and Legends already coming to PlayStation Plus. I heard that game was bad though. So. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play SpongeBob though. I actually, might too. I'm gonna lie to you. And I heard I Slay the Spire know. was very good. I actually might try that. Yes, I think it's car based roguelite or something like that. I don't remember. Mm, I'll have to look at that's it. All, that's all you. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you. <laughs> not an Alex game. Not an Alex Sometimes game. you said roguelike. I'm like, no. <laughs> Uh, this you is an me, You could give me a Soulsborne game all day. Yeah. Real quick. No. Persona 5 will leave the PS Plus collection May 11th. Uh oh. Oh no. If you add the game now to your library, you can continue to access it while you have an active PlayStation Plus account. So, achievers, even if you do not want the game, yeah, please just get the license go for over it. to yeah. the collection. All you have to do is hit a button. Now you always yep. own Persona 5. If you ever want to go back to it, it'll be there. Yeah. But it will leave May 11th. It is gone forever. Just the amount of games never gonna be I grab, like I'm never gonna play Hoods, Outlaws, and Legends, but I grabbed it just because you never know. You never know. You never, never know. know. Let's stick with free games. Epic Game Store 
from April 7th to the 14th, you can now, uh, you can now, sorry. April 7th to the 14th, Rogue Legacy and The Vanishing of Ethan Carter are going to be free to download on the Epic mar uh, Marketplace. I will say, Alex, I have been slacking on the, uh, on the Epic Game Store. They give out two games free they, they, yeah. every couple every, weeks. Yeah. I need to start yeah. getting back into that. I The last yeah. time I logged in there, it, this, it was a while ago, it's Batman's biggest anniversary, and they had like mm. all the Arkhams and the Lego Batman game. That was the last time I like got on there, so I need to really? get a little better um, logging into that. We have another date update. Second annual MetaQuest Gaming Showcase will take place on April 20th. Uh, it's at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Uh, BST. I forget what that is. And we'll have a, quote, new game announcements, gameplay, first looks, updates on games coming in the next year, and a whole lot of surprises, end quote. I don't care about the Meta Quest, if I'm being real with you guys, but if you, uh, if you care, you can check it out. We will not be really doing any coverage unless something major is announced. It will, of course, be in the docket for the week. Uh, and this is for all you One Piece fans. One Piece Odyssey is a new JRPG coming in 2022 to PlayStation 4, Play PlayStation 5, Xbox Series S, and X, and PC. We don't know anything about that game uh, or the anime. So if you want to learn more, just uh, Google around One Piece Odyssey, the One Piece anime. It's getting a JRPG, which is very exciting. That sounds very cool. I am not a One Piece fan. I just wanted to bring that up for uh, uh, people because I know we have a lot of anime fans out there. Mm hmm. Taco Titan. Alex, that's the news for the week. We've been on for quite a while. We almost cracked two hours. Before I send you off, I want to ask you one question. I start the show with a question. I like to end the show with a single question. That question is, of course, what do you have queued up for the week? This, of course, could be a book, a comic book, some sort of game, uh, maybe a video game, board game, tabletop role-playing game, a show, a movie, anything. Alex. Hmm. What do you have queued up? And of course, this is for the achievers as well. Comment below. What do you have queued up for the week? Or tweet at us. Hmm. Alex, please. Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, of, of, course, course. of course. We're going to play that a little bit. Yes. Uh, literally in four days, we got Lego Star Wars. Ooh, yeah, we do. Yep, we're going to be playing that. Yep. That's another co-op game we'll be playing. Yes, yes. Um, other than that, we had, there isn't really much. I mean, I'm... I'll probably uh, make sure you finish Horizon. I will be. And, and this make... week, I will finish Horizon. And for sure, I'm sure I'll probably drag you back into Elden Ring. At some point, I'm sure we will. Yeah. Other than that, I mean, I mean, I just been catching up my up on my shows now. I caught up. I caught up literally in one day with Attack on Titan. That's so, good. So, so, so such a good show. Great uh, show. Yeah. I'm on season four beginning like episode yeah. five so i'm pretty early in that yeah season, there's 27 episodes i think okay. Okay. yeah so i'm excited yeah. to keep going yeah it's it's good finish that so i'm just gonna catch up on other shows i am continuing with my hero my hero jesus i am continuing with my hero but i am continuing with attack on titan as well i want yep. to uh finish out the season if i can mm -hmm. Uh, and get caught up as much as I can. I liked the dub. I'm one of those guys. So I'm, no, I, have, same. I have been I just, behind on the dubs, if I'm being real. Um, catch up on my usually, hero. Usually I watch subs, but like when I can't watch dubbed, I ha I'm just like, I got to do sub. Yep. Yep. Uh, aside from that, I mean, that's really it. We're going to finish Horizon. We're going to keep playing Tiny. We're going to play Lego when it comes out. You said in four days. So we're going to have impressions on that in the next episode. Uh, we mm -hmm. will be playing that. We'll let you know what we think. Uh, aside from that, Alex, that's I mean, that's all I got for you, though. This was a longer show than usual, which I'm sure the achievers enjoy. I had a great time, and uh, I'm be honest, I'm ready to I'm ready to go play some games. So, oh yeah, I'm literally grabbing those epic games before I forget. Oh, okay, all right, double dipping. I like it. Mm -hmm. Alex, anything you want to leave What's with the achievers as they go into the weekend? <clears throat> Don't become the frenzied flame lord. Deep. It's deep words. That is a that, that, that is a really deep. bad ending. <laughs> like not saying it's bad as a game, but like, like no, no, bad no, as in like like that's the like yeah you're you're evil. <laughs> you're like you. I remember you told me you're like I, I felt bad. I was like I, I imagine it's not a happy ending for anyone. No, yeah, yeah. Achievers, thank you so much for joining us for this week. I am gonna go play more video games until next week. Remember, go chief. Go chief.